her Bye -bye. daughter to be more focused on how uh -huh. she looks than math. You know, exactly. like exactly. I hear that. Nor do I want her to worry about going home to play with LOL dog with the penis and balls. Oh <laughs> I don't see a penis and balls though, bro. <laughs> I can't lie. I don't see but the penis. Mean that it isn't there. No, that's why I said I don't see it. Uh, somebody I may, like you do. It's right. the first thing that we saw. Her mom but, and me. It's the first thing that we saw. Rodney saw it too. It's the first thing we saw. Yeah, you don't see them two little balls at the bottom. At Bro, I think those are lips that couldn't be like stretched. Like they can't it be that looks detailed. Like a horseshoe to me. Um, All right. It doesn't need to be anything there. I agree that it shouldn't be anything. That's a there that's tonight. a that's a child's toy. That's a child. That's a toy for a child. There shouldn't be anything there. Nothing. I agree. It shouldn't be nothing there, bro. I I think it's wild that they actually took the time to make sure that a doll that does not look like a real person, yeah, it has a skin color, and yeah, it has eyes, nose, and as a matter of fact, let me zoom out. It might have what? Look, like, that doesn't look real, bro. So why are you... Those, making... That doesn't look real either. <laughs> but still, it's a real indicator. Like, uh-uh. You you didn't put toes on it, but you put fucking some type of genital. There are no it's toes. Something. It's just full foot. Okay. Can I, as the as the person that had a girlhood, speak to there are no thing? kneecaps. No. Why did we get so specific right here? That is wild. Really specific. That's crazy, That's the only thing. bro. Like, and, and my thing is, how many of these were purchased, fam? What is the... I don't understand, oh, like, why Millions. is it this, like, crucial? It's, it is literally a toy. And if your kid asks you about it, you should be the parent that can say, oh, that's what they, that's probably what this represents. Like, do you not like this toy? We cannot okay. play with this one. Like, I it's not some... that big of a deal. I no, feel like... it is. You want to know why it is? <laughs> I'm going to have to tell you why forcing, it is. You're forcing on, parents to have conversations prematurely. When you have a child, it you don't even have, have that to have any conversation it's whenever. It's for me. I can have that conversation with my daughter if I have to. Now, Ben is making the point of saying, like, why make it happen earlier? Like, she isn't asking me about Who's that shit now. Early? Who's to say it's I, early? I'm, I'm, I'm telling you now. She's My daughter does not come to me and, and ask me about sex or sexual organs at all. So, like, this is helping. That's, that's what right, Ben is saying. For right oh, hold now. on, hold on, hold on. Listen, this is, the, this is the part that I have a problem with. My daughter is going to be marketed this toy. Uh, she's going to really want it, too. I'm going to have to tell her no. She's going to say, why, Dad? This goes back to the, the text message that I sent of, can you live life without lying? Like, she's going to say, why, Dad? I'm going to have to say, boom, I'm still having the conversation because the doll isn't made the way I would like it, or I would have to find some slick-ass way to let her know I don't want to purchase the doll for the way that it's manufactured. It's, I'm going to preface this with an apology to begin with because, and again, I do not have children, but I have raised a many children. And in my purview, when you have a kid, you, as a parent, you can't dictate when that stuff's going to come up. Your kid, we literally shit them out and they are their own beings. We can't protect them the way that we feel like we can protect them. We can't shield them from the stuff that we think we can shield them for. Once you bring a child into this world, the world is here. So if it, the conversation comes up, as a parent, the conversation has come up. So like, let's talk about it. You don't have to go into details about sex. You can just say, hey, like the same way that you have this body part, they must have thought that the doll should have it too. It's that's maybe why, and again, I don't have kids, but I'm picturing myself. So you're saying don't censor kids at all? Huh? So you're saying like don't censor what kids are exposed to at all? That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying we can't 
to the extent that we think that we can control censoring things from kids, we really can't. These kids go to school every day. Exactly. These kids are in classrooms with other kids whose parents are not censoring that stuff. That's why I'm thinking, I just feel like some parents have like this false sense of control over their children's environments and you really, we just no, don't have no, that kind no, no. of control anymore. Uh, right, no, I I totally what understand. As a, parent, as a parent though, you need to be a safe space for your child to have those for conversations sure. so they're not, not talking to it with their classmates. That has so, nothing to do with what I'm consuming for my child. That has nothing to do ooh, with what, what I'm buying for my child. None well, of that has to do with... Now, if it came to her in class, you're right. If it came to her through her cousin, you're right. If it came through her... It, right, but it, this is the crazy part. This was a gift. <laughs> right. And we can have a lot and like... Christmas and how bullshit that is too, but like I kind of we probably should have right before Christmas. It's probably too late now, but yeah, I'm that's another conversation. Just, like, you know, I look I'm, at I look at this toy. I look at this toy, um, and I think about all of the people out there uh, with mental illnesses who love to indulge pedophilia. From the, you get that from the toy? I look at this toy and I think Let about the people who suffer from the mental illness of pedophilia. And coming from a household where I was raised by women and a number of those women during their the course of their upbringing had been sexually assaulted. Not saying that it was because of images like this that are on the screen that caused them to be sexually assaulted. But I look everywhere in society and I look back into the earlier stages of my upbringing in this entire realm of existence that we travel through is nothing but sexualization. And it's, it's gotten so intense that people have become numb to it. People have become numb to sexualizing everything. It's in your music. It's on your TV. It's on the billboards. It's on the toys. It's on the cell phones. It's everywhere. And here we, and, and now because, because we've grown into a bunch of, of sick individuals collectively. Now we want to push this idea onto children. It is not okay for an eight-year-old to have a toy that depicts anything similar, anything similar to a sexual organ on another human being. There's nothing sensible about that. That's not, and the only thing it's doing, and I'll say it one more time, is exciting the sexual energies early on and building their curiosity. That's the only thing that it's doing. I'm not saying that I don't that I don't have these conversations with my children because I do. I'm probably one of the most straightforward dads, and you know, in the damn country. But for us as adults, for me to sit here and just listen to adults especially an adult woman and to to see how numb you've become to sexualization is sickening to me. For you I to look at this and, and not see a blatant issue. Yeah, no, I don't see an issue. Um, I... <laughs> <laughs> and I don't see an issue. Okay, and again. It's her time mean, to talk, man. Mr. Bean, you and I exist in the <laughs> same world, but we have vastly different like bases of what we of our beliefs. I know it's not about mm -hmm. us as a race, it's about the toy on the screen. No, it's not, it's about us because we're having a conversation. Come here, Manu. Manu. I just don't see how someone could, could not see the problem okay. with this. I but I'm gonna explain to you why I don't see a problem with it. I don't view sex. Come here. 
come here. I don't view sex as taboo. Nothing about sex is like is like raunchy or whatever to me. Sex, sex is how we all got here. Like sex is the most natural shit that we do. So I don't view it as something that's like mm-hmm. immoral even or unnatural. So for me, I get that parents have their own views in regards to sex and when they may want um, their child to be exposed to sex. Mm-hmm. In all, if I'm being completely honest, I will talk with my children and I have talked with the kids with my life about sex that in a way, the same way that I would talk about damn near anything else. I would add the leverage mm-hmm. of this is something that adults should do and this is not something that you should partake in and if someone touches you in this way then you should say something. But like sex is normal and I think that we give do a disservice to kids when we act like it's some like foreign shit. <laughs> like it's not some natural shit because then that same child will end up growing it up in spaces where sex is there. Like you said, it's everywhere. And if we're not preparing our kids with like the education basis, not like the raunchy, dirty, um, this makes me feel gross type thing. If we educate them on the education basis at home, when they go out into the world, they won't be as phased by it. If you don't know about shit and you see some titties on the street, I'm trying to see what the titties about because ain't nobody ever talked to me about the titties before. You know what I mean? That's all I'm saying. I don't. That's which is why when I see yeah, stuff but, like but I, I'm still not understanding. I'm still not understanding because we're talking about we're talking about conversations about sex with children, mm-hmm. not the doll on the screen that has something down there that resembles whatever the eye can conceive, because we can't agree that it's anything. I mean, I know what I see. I know what their mother saw. I know what my wife sees. I know what my friend saw. I know what my dad sees. But this is the first group of people that I've communicated with that didn't see this. That, that didn't see what we saw. So my quite first... naturally, this isn't the path. Quite naturally, this isn't the path the least resistance for me. Okay. It's it's mind boggling to me. That has nothing to do conversating and educating children on what sex is and, and, and what, you know, safe sex is, most importantly. And a number of different things has absolutely no correlation with the company that is manufacturing child toys with genitalia. And I'm not defending the company. There's no correlation. I I don't not, know what it, didn't, it didn't come with a manual. It didn't, but what I'm it, what it, it I didn't come saying, with a manual. This it, this is this is the it didn't come with no. a manual to say, hey, this is an educational toy for if you're trying to teach your children about sex, this is how you should go about it. No, this that is we're talking called about an MOL surprise. Why are we scared? What is the issue with the toy if it's not like some? Because you just went on a whole tirade about how everything's being sexualized. I just don't view this as sexualization. Where the, Again, where, where the I issue see, is my eight-year-old ain't never saw a dick until she bought the, until I got this talk. She still That's hasn't. It. I'm sorry. She still hasn't. This isn't a dick. I don't know what to tell you. Like It's both. <laughs> she she I, has an idea. She didn't have an idea for not, it before she, before she received the story. And even that, I'm sure, I am completely sure y'all will all the way agree with me. I'm not seeing, I would go as far as to say, I know myself growing up, my mom didn't hide anything from me. So she taught me about my body parts. She taught me about male body parts. She let me know what sex was. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm not viewing this as like some Mm -hmm. out of range type shit because like, they're body parts. Like, there's penises everywhere. There are vaginas everywhere. <laughs> That's just like what it is. It's fine. So, do you it's believe? I have a question. I have a question, yes. Israel. Do you yeah. believe that there's an appropriate age to start discussing that with the child? I think parents know their children best. And I wouldn't even put an age on it now because kids are picking up on things way earlier than even I was. I think I had that mm-hmm. talk with my mom. It was stages. It wasn't just one talk. Like I had a talk with her 
um, maybe like in second grade, because I was starting to like boys at that point, and then like again in middle school, and then a few times in high school. Like it's an ongoing conversation that you have to kind of like, as the parent, we have to know how to work. It's a few for things. Our it, child. It's a few. It's a few things. Your five year old is not gonna be like my five year old. You know what I mean? Right. But it's a few things that sex does to everyone, no matter who you are. And like Bean mentioned, safe sex for one. You can't trust a five, uh, uh, eight year old, like what you said, second grade, you're probably eight or nine years old. You can't trust an eight or nine year old to, okay. yeah, seven or eight year old to even clean their room, let alone make sure that, that they. Have, it's not a safe sex. Okay, so maybe. No, maybe it is though. It's not a safe it, sex conversation. It wasn't a safe sex conversation when I was seven. Well, that's what I'm saying, but it has to be. No, Especially no. now. Why not? So it, what if they try it and they end up with something? There was nothing about that conversation at seven that made me want to try sex. It was literally right, okay. but you're talking about me, my feelings. So you, you might not do it then, but you might do it at 12. And there's another conversation. That's what I mean. Like, I feel like, and maybe me and my mom just have a different relationship. There was not a day where I didn't I'm not going to bring the signs like, into this conversation. <laughs> there wasn't a day where I didn't He said, he said I said I'm not going to bring the the signs, astrological signs into this conversation. Oh. But okay. I could have. I got a going. Scorpio mama though. But yeah. she um she was a single mom. It was me and it was just me and her. So there wasn't a day where I didn't come home from school and like we had the relationship where I would tell my mom everything. I'd be like, we wrote, I wrote in my journal. Yep. Do you want to read my story? Like, I like this boy now. And like, we would just have conversations like that. So it wasn't, again, at seven, it wasn't like a, make sure he puts a condom on. Cause like, my mom knew me. Like, I wasn't about to go try to jump on some dick at seven. Like, <laughs> or at 12. Man, you just said that kids yeah. growing up faster now though. Like, so yeah. my thing is this. I do think that there are appropriate ages for human beings to be exposed to certain things. Um, I didn't know that until now, but I do truly feel like um, eight is not a, a age for you to have. First of all, your mind is still being impressed upon heavily. Like, mm -hmm. you do not need to be putting sex in that house. <laughs> like, they should not be a part of your... Your your curiosity or value system, you should be using your imagination for things that aren't as realistic and, and adult oriented. It doesn't like, have to be a sex conversation though. That's what but this would turn into a so like full fledged I sex talk, conversation. Yeah, you will because but we I talk to our kids about organs immediately child, when as soon as they start touching them in, in the bathtub. You have to tell them, like, okay, that's your pee pee, you know, yes. or that's your whatever. So, like, it's not like they're not aware of what they have. And then when they're little, they try to, like, see if they can touch their brothers or their sisters. You got to be like, no, you, it's personal. Like, if somebody touches right. yours, then don't. That's easy. That's theirs, though. Like, yeah. like what he's saying, when it's in your toy box, it, imagine if that holds upside down. And I'm just talking from the state of subconscious programming. And like you're seeing that over and over and over and over again. Uh, a kid is going to, like, prime example, you just said that they're growing up. Fast. You know what I think is going to happen? Hold on, hold on. I'm almost done, B. I'm almost done. You got your point. You know, there's no gateway on the internet. Right. There's no, there's, my kids will hop on this hoe and, they don't even have to know how to spell and they can tell Siri to look up what the fuck this is, right? Yeah. And the Google right. search is going to bring up a whole page of things that I don't even want you to be able to see, Desiree. What? Like, it's going to yeah. be grotesque. It's going to be extreme. It's not even going to be normal. It's not going to be what normal people do. You're going to see people fucking animals. You, you're going to see all kind of crazy Shit, and I'm and it so comes. Amazed. Sorry, I'm this sorry. is the 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 dad in a nigga. 
Keep going, though, man. You go, man. Man, I was just, I was just gonna say, you know, I think that, I think that every five years, they're gonna add a centimeter to it. <laughs> Every five years, they're going to add a centimeter to it. <laughs> oh, this nigga said. <laughs> that actually sounds real because <laughs> our toys didn't have this shit. My, our toys didn't, didn't have this shit. They had like little humps there. They had humps. Like, you're starting to make it 3D. Like, <laughs> that hoe is getting real. You, what? what <laughs> okay, what about the kid that what about the kid? I'm serious too. What about the kid that, that rubs on that? What about the kid that and because that, then like, with it. Exactly that rubs on that and, you, and then the feels like they could do that. But what if you're not there? What if what if you don't even see it? I, that's okay. So again, my mom was always there. <laughs> so I don't know the life of not having a parent there, and I can I can name and claim that I am speaking from a place of bias. I had a Bitch. very involved parent. So, like, there was nothing that I did or that I, like, experimented or thought about that I didn't go Did your mom with. work? My mom worked all the time. Right. So, are you telling me you did things? Way. Did you do things that your mom does not know about? Not things like yes. this. Not but things like this, that's that, well, you're changing. I just want to know: Did you do things that your mom does? Because it's going to be different for different people. I didn't either. If we're I'm just about, saying, if we're talking that about you like, can get away with doing things, things that your parents aren't aware of. That's that's all I'm saying. If we're talking about sexual anything, me and my mom had those conversations. I might have hid like if I got into a fight or something, but I did not hide like. Stuff like this, because she put she had the she put the impression on me at a very young age that sex is of importance and that it's not something that should be taken lightly. So whenever I had those feelings, I would come and talk to her about it, and she'd say, "Okay, well these are the options." She was like always very straight up with me about it, and I didn't even end up having sex until I was like way older because of that. I had the conversation with my mom, and I was like, "Oh, that actually don't sound that cool. I actually don't feel like doing that right now." And if it yeah, was I mean, other way, they, still would have supported me. They came and talked to us about it like fifth There's grade. A yeah, I was. I, I believe it was sixth grade for us. Yeah, it was like fifth, sixth grade. But I sixth mean, grade. I had talked talk with it about you know over over with my parents and stuff like that. But I didn't. Like I never formally, had official formally, formally, Oh really? I never. Not one. Even now. To this day, I've never had an official conversation I, about sex with my parents. I ever. think, I think that that toy right there could potentially, could potentially titillate the sexual energies of someone at that age so much that it could possibly turn them into a rapist. That's a stretch, stretch. I, I kind of, wow. I kind of, I feel the same way because, like I said, what about the kid that, things like this? What about the kid that like wants to touch it? Like it, it, it said, y'all are speaking from y'all are for sure speaking from like a man's perspective. A protective. It's perspective. a man's perspective though. It's not just protective because I think that the the work that happen in like the conversations and kind of just be explaining this is what this is I'm not and even in the conversation that you have with your child you could be like this is why I don't feel like this is appropriate so we're not going right. to have it in the house that's and definitely that's what would happen versus that's just definitely like what taking it away and making it like no no I'm not that? saying that we're not going to discuss it I'm first of all it's not even going to make it past me like it's not going to make it past me anyway but if it did we're definitely going to discuss it but I want to know where do you think pedophilia comes from to begin with? I think pedophilia is. I would view pedophilia. Do you think it starts as a child? I don't know that. I haven't done the research to know that for sure. But I think that pedophilia and rape are connected and that they're really about power. They're not even completely about the victim. It's a power move, which is why most of the people that we see perpetrating that shit are people that feel powerless in other areas of their life and they inflict that harm 
on their victims to gain power. And I know the time that I was assaulted, it was because someone was like, just wanting to feel powerful over me. It wasn't even about the sex itself, which is why I think that those conversations are not the same. I feel like if you are a rapist, it's because you're a fucking rapist. If you're a pedophile, it's because you're a fucking pedophile. I don't think that you're... You believe they're born like that. I don't even think that you're born like that. I think that there's multiple... I'm reading it now. I'm reading. I think we're all kind of like... We're all subjects of our environment and like our mental chemistry, right? And on top of that, some people don't cope with their... I'm trying to say this in a polite way, but I'm talking about fucking pedophiles, so I actually don't give a fuck. Um, (laughs) They don't know how to cope with their failures, um, emotionally, physically, whatever, and they go out and they perpetrate and harm people. I think that's why it it doesn't matter how much money you have, how much race you are, there's always going to be a rapist. I think that the image on the screen could could potentially excite the sexual energies of a small kid so much that he could end up taking something from a little girl or a little boy. I really believe that wholeheartedly. I would say I that too. there are I would say that there are plenty of boys that have harmed little girls without this. Exactly. So so that's what the is point. so no but, that's but, not, my point that is, is the so point. what is what was the thing that made those little boys do that harm? Because it's not this. Clearly, if it's been happening for centuries, it's not a toy having a. a it doesn't mean that it won't happened. increase. I'm not, I'm not saying. I don't think it's going to increase anything because I think it's been existing and it's been here. And if we're not talking about why it's already existing. Again, I'm not trying to defend this fucking toy company. I don't we, even know what. Yeah, we, I mean, you have people that study that. You have people that study that. But the only thing that I'm telling you is, I believe that this toy could potentially excite the sexual energies of someone so much that they could end up taking something from another little boy or girl, something precious. That's what I'm saying. I'm I'm on that. I'm on that, bro. I I can I've. Not even kind of. I feel the exact same way, G. I feel the same way because that shit is not. I don't know. It wasn't necessary. I mean, it doesn't do anything to us. We're adults, sexually active adults. But think about someone. Think about you know, if you could, if it's possible, you put yourself in the mind of a child. This is this is like a porno to him. (laughs) Eight years old. This is like one of them, one of them magazines, one of them hustler magazines, where all the pages stuck together. To him, <laughs> after a while, he gonna get tired of playing with that plastic. That nigga's making some points that like. I agree on, man. I, 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 I really, I, I just, I don't know. I think that it's just like misdirected, kind of like I think in general as adults. And especially in like our conversations with kids and especially as black people, we don't have the conversation that we should be having around sex and what like arousal and like all of that. Like we just don't have those conversations. So I get why y'all feel the way that y'all do. I mean, we do. I just don't. We do. I I do. I mean. I do, but but I can't say that that was normal growing up. All of my friends that have children. A they, lot of the shit that's happening now. All of the black really men that I know that have children, they have those conversations. I agree. This I, toy I'm not just needs to be taken off the market. Happening. And someone needs to be held accountable for. You talking about going after them, Excuse me? 